what's up everybody it's me Obi Mom Kenobi and I'm gonna give you guys a quick vlog of a day in the life of Trigger and I the day of a show so today is Wrestle Hell it is the biggest um, event of SWA's entire history this is pretty much our Wrestlemania our Wimbledon our US Open our Stanley's Cup you know that sort of thing so we're gonna just show you guys um, basically like what we do so Right now, I just woke up. It's about 11 o'clock, and I'm just going to show you guys basically how we go about our day. Of course, my husband begins it by gaming because he wakes up earlier than me. And, of course, he's with his gaming homies. But, of course, he always makes sure that I have my Red Bull for the day. So, uh, we'll show you guys us going through our gear bags really quickly. Okay, as you can tell, like, we, we really don't go through our bags until the day of the show because you know we have all day so I'm just taking this crap out of course this crap out and of course Trigger's bag is never really changed the only thing he has to do is aerate everything um hi babe hi. you excited yeah. we're excited and of course this is last show's dress so we're gonna take that out and of course my cards um, I have a whole new list, and thankfully, El Jefe was kind enough to provide me with the match card all before the show, so it's already prepped and ready to go, and I don't have to talk to nobody. And that's Trigger's Replica Peacemaker. Um, where did you get that from? Oh, oh. <laughs> Didn't you get it from the, the that, that pyramid company where you got the other, um... Yeah, because yeah, the other one broke, because he didn't clean it properly. But this one, he's never fired, so he doesn't have to worry about cleaning it yet. Oh, yeah. oh you cleaned it? Well, I did it. Yeah, but I'm saying with an actual pop. Yeah, that's the pop. Oh. Oh. Well, anyways, let's get started on these cards and start switching out our bags. Me and, me, me and my mom start talking more. I go to take a bite of my sandwich. She slaps my fucking sandwich out of my fucking hand. Mind so, you, what I'm doing here my is I'm preparing the match shit. cards. And, so um... The shit out of in the front seat. Some people didn't have their information in on time. And y'all had eight days. Uh, y'all had eight days. Okay? HC, yeah. look, I love you, but, like, owner. you've been in this yeah. business longer than we have. Don't you think you would have had that information already? But anyways... This is me writing down the match cards. So, enjoy. <laughs> Say tangerine again, please. <laughs> SWA um, makeup look uh, as part of the vlog. So um, I'm going to be trying out some products I've never tried before. Uh, this one being the Earth Harbor Nymph Nectar Super Fruit Radiance Balm uh, to kind of prep and prime my face. And also the Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. So um, it's my first time trying this stuff out. Seal for your protection. Um, Fuck them in here. Yeah. Husband's gaming. This is our, our, our ritual. This would normally be our ritual on a Saturday if we had shows on Saturdays. Uh, he'd be gaming, I'd be getting ready, and no, then, you know. And now we're going to be busy shooting now. Yeah. Sealed for your protection. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. But... We're just gonna make do. I'm just gonna take our beauty blender, dab it in there because I'm not just sticking my fingers in. Ooh. Oh my god! This does not look very. 
Nah. This stuff looks like it went bad. No. Milk's no. gone bad! Hopefully this stuff... Okay, this has got a good consistency, and this is under eye serum, so we're just gonna... I like using my beauty blender instead of my fingers, because even though my hands are clean, this always works. Okay, brighten up the eyes a little bit. If you see this weird line, it's because I sleep with um headphones, like sleep headphones, and I literally sleep to dirty music and stuff, so... Very good for the soul. But I do want to try the Skin Ink um, Serum Glow Filter that I got in my BoxyCharm. So we're just going to put a couple of pumps. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. Ah, here we go. Got to keep the face hydrated and moisturized when you're putting layers upon layers of makeup. Look at me in my Wednesday Addams best. Yes, hunty. I am serving Adam's family. Cunt. That's what we're slaying today. Okay. Serving that cunt day Adams. At least for now. Because once I get to the venue, this the braids are coming out. My hair is going to be all, you know, wild and crazy. Um, I usually keep it in braids to kind of preserve the curls, so... Okay, the face feels refreshed. Maybe we'll stop. Now, I like moist, uh, uh, tinted moisturizers. They work so much better than foundation, especially because I'm going to be sweating a lot in the show. And this particular one, most of them don't melt off my face like regular foundation does. Um, but I'm using the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. Um, it's hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer, as you can tell. And we're going to just put this all over the face. I forgot to put on my primer, so we're just going to throw that on right quick. Again, I really don't like using my fingers, even though my fingers are clean. I prefer to use just a beauty blender to kind of blend everything out, since that's the one that's touching my face most of the time. Get it right there in the pores, especially here. In the teasel. And the best thing about tinted moisturizers is you don't really have to blend it all the way down to the neck because it's tinted. So, I need to get it as close to the like, skin tone as possible because I don't like this part being all dark and then the bottom. Ah! Now for my big old five head. <laughs> Okay, so we're using a blend of our ELF's Camel Concealer um, in Light Beige and Tan Latte. And we're just going to highlight everything. Don't ask me, but this is by far my favorite contour crayon from Hoya Soon. Uh, this was when I got like a whole bunch of stuff from Wish for cheap. And... This actually is compatible with pretty much every single, like, <laughs> makeup I own. Sorry if you can't hear me, hubby, hubby is gaming. This is, like, his pre-match ritual. So, and me being the loving and supportive wife, I'm not going to stop him. So, if I have to deal with it, y'all going to have to deal with it. Now we get our beauty blender and just blend everything out. Alright, so I'm going to do my brows because what I do is I use the setting powder to kind of set the brows as well. So we're just going to go in with our Emmy Cosmetics and I'm obsessed with this pencil. I only use it for like when I'm doing big shows. So... Eyebrows are on. We're going to go in with our Beauty Bakery setting powder in rice. Bruh. You know. I can't even respond. Okay, so um as you can tell I use my Oh for a Charming Cheeks blush palette. Um I use this one to bronze and then this one to blush since I didn't mention that when I did it. 
We're just going to take our beauty sponge and we're just going to kind of tap everything to kind of melt it together. Okay, for the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Chaotic Cosmetics Double Scoop um, Deluxe Palette. I am obsessed with this palette. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. Ah, ah, ah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, we're going to do a vibrant pink look just to kind of match the green velvet dress that I'm going to be wearing. I, or should I do purple? Purple, purple. Purple rain. Purple rain. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh, that means I, P I need my P. Louise base. I need my P. Louise base. I'll be back. All right, found it. We're going to go into our P. Louise acid rain base in Ibiza. And we're just going to put this on the lid and wherever we're going to basically add purple so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab any old kind of brush uh mostly a flat brush we're just going to take some of the product on the brush and then we're just going to kind of carve out what we're going to put on our face yeah i know but this one's clean the other one is filthy and i can barely see anything through it it's kind of like looking through like fog so <laughs> Now, again, this is typically what we normally do on the day of the show. <coughs> Ooh. Disgusting! <laughs> this is what we normally do the day of a show. We, you know, kind of get ready. This is when we did shows like out of state. But now that I'm off on Fridays, I have the full day to do my makeup, take my time, get our stuff settled in. And usually when I worked on Fridays before my schedule changed, I would have to do everything on a Thursday night or at least do like little bits oh. throughout the week before the night of the show. Now, I'm chilling. So we're going to go right into this purple that I just kind of loaded up on the brush and we're just going to kind of set everything and then kind of blend it upwards. <laughs> And while you're adding this to the base, kind of blend, use it to blend it outwards. So that you get rid of that like harsh line that you kind of created. Okay, so now that we've got the purple all set and I did it under the under eye as well, we're going to go with a smaller brush and we're just going to kind of work on the inner corner. So we're going to just take the small brush that I got from D&H Cosmetics and you can see that it's been well used. And we're going to go right into this dark purple and we're just going to kind of define everything okay so i'm going to throw a little bit of pink on here because i can so we're going to just grab this brush and we're just going to go right into this pink and we're just going to put it right on top of the purple, just kind of give it a pop of color. Alright, so I'm going to use this, I know, for the lid, the outer corners, and of course the brow bone, so. I'm the broke beauty guru. I can't afford to throw this shit out. So we're getting into the home stretch now it's time for the finishing touches and uh we're gonna set all this wonderful stuff with our maven beauty rose water setting spray highlight okay so now we're gonna just take our beauty blender and press everything in Now we're gonna. Of course, why are you in my fucking way? Noni! 
I was thinking about doing a wing, but um, nah, I'm just gonna do a line just to kind of hide the band of my um lashes. So. Yeah. I don't want the wing to take away from the actual look, so. All we're doing is hiding the eyelash bands. All right, so we're going to be using these lashes that I got for like from Amazon for like really, really cheap. Um, these are kind of my work lashes. I literally wear them for work, for shows, and for other work. Oh, behave. But we're going to pop these on and we're going to use this lash glue. Now, y'all know I'm a dual eyelash glue babe, so. Um, using this one, like, I was not expecting such good hold and longevity, but yet, yeah, you know, here we are. If I could find it. There we go. And this is called Vepelin, uh, and I got it off Amazon as well, so... And it's been working. I mean, it lasts all day, lasts all night. Hell, it even lasts through my shootings. So, the video shoots, not. Okay, for the final piece, which is the lips, we're going to just kind of moisturize with the chapstick. And we're going to just use this liner from peel and deep top and line the lips then we're gonna add our Emmy cosmetics uh, liquid lip uh, I forgot the color of this one uh, it was on the bottom and now it somehow disappeared but I love the color it goes great with the liner well let's go <laughs> and then toss it off a gloss. I know. I know. And this is the completed look. I will see you guys at the sportatorium. Be right back. <laughs> Put him in the fucking bathroom! <laughs> there we go. It's on the low setting. On the low setting. The lovely bartender! Yay! Oh my goodness. Okay, just a little heads up, you can rent these, so I'm going to be putting the uh, their link in the description bar so that you guys can rent. Rent. And of course, we ha don't forget to follow um, Chris Caden's YouTube channel, okay? Subscribe. You know, we got to promote and stuff, okay? So yeah, they got these bad boys for rent. Um, they have a tacos and tequila truck. Um, I kind of wish we had that one, but yeah, these guys are available for rent. The link will be in the description bar. A wild jumbo ref appears. And a wild boo boo. Hey, babies. Here we have Jay Flyer's merch table. Don't forget to pick up your stuff and follow him on social. There goes all the deets right over there. And uh, someone's getting tased over there. Don't tase me, bro. And of course, we have Mike Magnum, the starving artist, and his merch table. You can see him on AEW Dark, and there he is, Mr. Handsome. Don't forget to pick up your merch and follow him on social media. Oh, that's right, you're in the Hall of Fame tonight. Congratulations. Are you excited? Very excited, yes. Nice. Awesome. See you later at the ceremony. Now we can't forget the most important merch of all, because you know. <laughs> 
but we have the unsung, unappreciated heroes, Jumbo Ref, and of course, yours beautifully, and Trigger Bohannon, of course. We've got stickers, pictures, and shirts. Yes. Man of music, Carl Winslow. And of course, the ring and the ladder, again. And the NYWC Titan Tron. All your faves. And this is what everything looks like so far. This shit, I'm out. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Leroy! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the new official general manager of SWA. My little bro bro, double A. And we are here at Hoops and Shots and Hoops and Shots and Hoops and Shots and Hoops and Shots and Hoops and Shots. And you can't see it, but yeah, that's what the sign says. And of course, my loving husband Trigger, who is extremely upset. show a um, couple of things happened la that night um, mostly just uh, my husband losing his phone uh, which sucks uh, but uh, it's kind of uh, now forcing us to try and save up to get actual phone plans like when I say I'm the broke beauty guru I'm not kidding we were paying for like one of those family mobile phones just to use the Wi-Fi yeah, it was about 60 bucks a month for just a phone to be used for just the Wi-Fi and someone stole it. Um, so, yeah. But, that's the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and, you know, enjoyed getting a sneak peek into a day in my life during show days. Um, and don't forget to pick up my very first novel, The Pure Blood Eternal, available on Amazon Books. Don't forget to check out my other book, uh, book on Wattpad called The Last Venetian Warrior. Um, I will see you on Monday, 10 a.m. with a new video, bonus videos whenever I feel like it. So without further ado, I am your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the Broke Beauty Guru, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the one and only Kenobi you know me, the Royal T of Wrestling, the Ring Queen Lexa Rose saying, keep it Gucci Gucci bitches. <laughs>